All right, this is a 60-inch Hampton Bay brand industrial ceiling fan that I got at Habitat Restore, because some of you may know, I'm now a volunteer there. Basically, what I do for them is clean and fix, if necessary, ceiling fans they receive by donation. Now, this one was originally going to go um, in the actual store part, like um, not for sale, but actually to cool down the store. However, they actually ended up not needing it, so that's how I got this. Uh, the fan was missing its original speed control because, as you can see, it has no pull chain, really. Um, it would be controlled by an external uh, speed controller. That was missing. However, I do have a um, compatible one, so I'm going to demonstrate it and start with the lowest speed. Now, low speed probably goes around 60 or 75 RPMs, somewhere around there. So it's graceful. It also um, actually blows quite a good breeze for a low because of the way the blades are pitched. Makes it um, makes it very aerodynamic, the way Hampton Bay designed it. Oh, and just if anyone was wondering, uh, Hampton Bay is a Home Depot fan and lighting brand, so it's really only sold there and nowhere else. All right, now I'm gonna move up to the next speed. It's gonna go a little bit faster. I can hear the wind noise already because it's speeding up. Sounds like a helicopter. Um, this is probably gonna go maybe around 100 RPM. Somewhere around there, maybe give or take a little. These are just guesses. I don't know if it appears on camera, but there's a little piece of black tape I put in the motor to kind of um, indicate RPM. Although, don't think they can. I don't think you can really see that. It also is a bit wobbly. I'll turn it up to uh, next speed now. It's kind of like high speed, except uh, it's a little slower. This probably goes maybe around. 175, maybe 200 RPMs, so it's pretty darn fast. I definitely want to stay uh, away from those blades, is one thing for sure. And now for the full blast, this thing probably goes around 300 RPMs. It is absolutely insane on high. And it's wobbling quite a bit, so I'm going to turn it down to low again, because it's just going quite fast and it's very powerful. Plus, it's only temporarily mounted, so it's secure, but I wouldn't trust it permanently. Yeah. I'm going to turn it off now. And talk about uh, some general information on it. There is a little bit of yellow paint on top of the blades, or kind of like a yellow liquid that's hardened and dried. I have no idea what it is. It might not even be paint. But I can't really get it off, and I don't want to scratch the blades, so... I'll just leave it on there. It's only on the top anyway. Yeah, now I'm going to talk about the pros and cons. I like the fact that the fan uh, has the blades that it does because although some people think it looks ugly, I actually think it looks very awesome. In addition to that, it's also very efficient and aerodynamic. I'd say on high speed, if I had to guess the CFMs, I'd say probably somewhere around 30,000. Uh, in comparison, a 60-inch fan that's residential probably blows around 8,000 CFM. Of air, so that's uh, quite quite a lot of airflow. Um, and it's mounted quite low to the ground, so I can't even feel its full potential. Um, I also like the fact that it, um, it has an easily changeable down rod because I know Canarm, uh, another big manufacturer of industrial fans and residential ones too, um, their industrial model really only. Um, they say that if you try and adjust the down rod length, it war it voids the warranty. Uh, this one, you can really adjust it all you want, and the warranty is just fine. As you can see, I have a 12-inch down rod on there, because it originally came with a 24-inch one, but that was way too long. So I put this one on here. Uh, another thing I like is these are very inexpensive fans to purchase. Uh, this is probably one of the cheapest Hampton Bay fans you can buy uh, in terms of price. It's around $80, brand new, and it includes two down rods, a 18-inch one and a 6-inch. Uh, it also includes a wall controller, like I was mentioning, the original one was missing. Um, so it's a very, very good value in terms of what you get for the price. It's also very good quality, too. What I don't like, however, is this is kind of off balance. Uh, the blades are a little bit bent, although I um, 
bend them back a little bit because there's the metal brackets you could probably see holding the plastic blades in place. Didn't want to bend them too much though. Also another thing I don't like is it is a bit dirty like I was mentioning there's like a yellow paint or something on top of the blades uh, and also the bottom of the motor uh, is kind of dirty as well. I did get as much off as I could however there's still some on there which is just being very stubborn. Anyway uh, thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video and lots more awesome stuff to come.